Ahoy hoy, I'm Planet Walk, and welcome to my new show about Flat Earthers and all the news that's going on. I don't know what to call it yet. If you have a good idea, leave a comment of what I should call it. And I might call it that. Unless I come up with a better idea. Or unless I get a better idea from the idea that you've come up with. But anyway, this show is about Flat Earthers and the crazy news that's come up about them because, by God, are they doing some crazy shit. So let's make fun of them, shall we? So the first story, and this one has been going around a lot lately, you've probably heard about it already if you keep up with any channels that talk about Flat Earth or anything like that. Buzz Aldrin admitted that we faked the moon landing, that we've never been to the moon. Let's check it out. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not... Uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and, and that's the way it happened. There you have it, folks. He finally admitted it. Or maybe he just made a mistake. Maybe he just... What he meant to say was, we haven't been there again. Now, conspiracy theorists have been going ahead and using the saying that we've never been to the moon, although flat earthers have been more prominent in using it to say, we've never been to the moon, therefore the earth is flat. I mean, why can't we just have a conspiracy theory that doesn't involve the earth being flat for once? Jeez. But what a lot of people leave out, or just neglect to mention, is that right afterwards, he says that it did stop, not that, oh, we've never been there, that it stopped in the past, and that if we want to keep doing something, why hasn't it happened? I'll play the rest of the clip for you. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen, so in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Uh, money is a good thing. If you want to buy new things, new rockets, instead of keep doing the same thing over, uh, then it's going to cost more money. And other things need more money too. So having achieved what the president wanted us to do, and then what thousands of millions of people in America and millions of people around the world. So judging by that, it's clear that he just slightly miscommunicated. I mean, it's not hard to do. People make mistakes. Here's a clip of him from the same interview making a mistake beforehand. Four P's. Prior planning events. No, it's five. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's not that he forgot to say because we haven't been there again and left out the again part, is that he decided to tell the truth. Oh wait, no, 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 no. He subconsciously thought, oh, well, we've never been there and said it. And then he realized what he said. So he still made a mistake. So what? So, either way you look at it, he made a mistake. It's more likely that he just made a mistake in communication, an error in communication, than he somehow had this thing in his head, which he said, that was actually happened to be the truth. And he accidentally said it, and then had to re-go back on his mistake. It's more likely that he just forgot to say again. So, this next story is a little bit old at this point. But it's still worth talking about. So this YouTuber who's actually a globe earther, not a flat earther, has taken upon himself to do a circumnavigation from pole to pole. He sent out a Kickstarter and managed to actually raise enough money to do the circumnavigation. And I say, power to him. You keep going, man. Now, people have already been saying that 
as soon as this happens, as soon as he gets evidence that you can circumnavigate the globe, that flat earthers are just going to be like, oh, that's a hoax, rather than give out their worldview. They're going to just say, oh, that's not evidence. You can easily fake that. CGI, whatever, and all that sort of shit. And I find it to be funny that that's probably going to be what happens. I mean, I haven't, I don't know the future, maybe that they accept it, and, you know, that would be nice if they accept it, and then it's the end of Flat Earth, but I think that it's more likely that Flat Earthers are just going to deny it. And if Globe Earthers can accurately predict what Flat Earthers are going to do, I mean, that's just another thing that the Globe model predicts, isn't it? But aren't we forgetting the third option? I mean, you'd be lying to yourself if you thought, well, there's only two options. The third option is that the Flat Earthers are right about it all, you know? That's always a possibility. I'm not going to rule that out. But I wonder if Flat Earthers have already ruled out the possibility of it being a globe. That's just something to think about. Now, this next one, I don't know how serious it is, but it is fucking funny. <laughs> Apparently there are Flat Earthers that are wanting the FIFA World Cup to be redesigned from these people holding up a globe to holding up a flat disc. Now, if this story is actually true, Flat Earthers are just... You're, you're, you're too crazy. Please go see a mental therapist or something to help you. If you're thinking that we need to change it. But then again, the reason why they are changing, wanting to change it, apparently, is because they want to change it to be something more realistic. <laughs> okay, maybe I might be biased being a globe earther, but this is fucking funny. Come on, you got to admit it's funny. <laughs> so, I think I'll end on this subject. Recently, there was a lunar eclipse, which I'm going to make a video on. I just have to get around to shooting a bit of it. But, the Flat Earth Society bless their souls, <laughs> thought that if you're confused about the lunar eclipse, your first thought should be to Google it. And I can't agree more. If you're confused about the lunar eclipse, just Google the damn thing and you'll get all the answers that you need. It'll tell you all about the lunar eclipse. Probably not how they were thinking, though. <laughs> Although they did leave a link to how they were thinking. So that's it for that video. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. That tells me that you want more, clearly. Leave a comment on what you think of this. Also, if you've heard about any other crazy flat earth things, you can let me know. You can join my Discord, link will be in the description, to tell me about the crazy flat earth news that's going on. If you want to support me, you can donate to my Patreon, link will also be in the description. And if you want to suggest better awards, again, you can just message me on Discord and let me know what better awards that I could have. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Between you and me, thank you for watching.